a 70 year reign, Queen Elizabeth II has died at the age of 96. Tonight, her son, now King Charles III, takes the throne. Plus, new evacuations underway tonight as the deadly Fairview fire burning near Hemet explodes again, threatening more homes and more lives. And the grapevine shut down tonight. All northbound lanes closed due to fire damage and urgent repairs. The resulting traffic mess and what you need to know mm -hmm. now on the News of 10. Mama. Good evening, I'm Michael Holman. And I'm Mary Beth McDade in tonight for Sheriff Calvin. Great Britain and the world are mourning the death of Queen Elizabeth II. The British monarch died today, surrounded by her children at Balmar Castle in Scotland. Queen Elizabeth was a constant presence for seven decades and the only monarch most Britons have ever known. The impact of her loss will be extraordinary. This is a live look at Buckingham Palace where a new day is dawning in London, the first day in over 70 years with a king sitting on the throne. KTLA's Pedro Rivera joins us here in studio with more. Pedro? Hundreds of people were already gathered outside Buckingham Palace after learning of the Queen's failing health. Soon they will learn the country's longest-serving monarch passed after seven decades on the throne. 